Crick Buzz Centre Stage, Adam Collins, and I've got with me Australian, well, batsman, I was going to say Australian wicketkeeper, not these days, Matthew Wade, number six, Matthew Wade, you made a century, of course, at Edgebaston a couple of test matches ago, but what I want to ask you to begin with is, four years ago when the Ashes series was taking place in England, you weren't in the test setup. you've had one go in the side since then, you're back now, what an amazing journey you've been on. Yeah, it's been a bit of a ride, I've obviously been around for a couple of years, and to get an opportunity to be back around the Australian team, and then to play in an Ashes series is something I probably didn't think I'd be doing 12 months ago, but enjoying it and uh, yeah, it's game on at the moment. What did that century mean to you at Edgebest and coming into the really important time in that second innings, consolidating then, putting the foot down and really proving to the world that you're up for it at this level? Yeah, probably just that, just proves that the things that I'd been doing over a 12 month period were going to work at the next level. Uh, it didn't go how I wanted it to go in the first inning, so mm. just to trust what I was doing and uh, know that that worked was uh, a big weight off my shoulders and I feel like I'm you know, only one or two hits away from getting a big score, that's, that's my mentality now, I feel like my game's good enough, it's just um, hanging long enough and the runs will come. Of course you grew up with Tim Payne when you were two kids running around being England and Australia in the backyard in your own Ashes contest. He observed before the start of this series that going back to Tasmania playing on pitches that were a fraction more sporting set you up nicely to play in England. Is that a view you share? Yeah, absolutely. I've become a much better player since I went back to Hobart and batted at Bell Reeve. It's certainly a bowler-friendly wicket, so uh, understanding areas that I need to score on wickets like that have helped me in England. Um, I don't try and hit the ball anywhere near as straight or as hard as I used to when I played at the MCG, so mm. it's definitely been a positive going back to Hobart and playing on a sporting pitch, yeah. And in terms of having the, the support, I guess, of the selectors and the captain, mm -hmm. there was some speculation this week they might go for another right-hander. Mm -hmm. Of course, you bat left-handed. Yeah, yeah. But getting on at the other side of that, you're playing here tomorrow, must fill you with a lot of confidence. Yeah, confidence that they, you know, trust my ability and trust that I've, I've got a match winning innings in me in the next, you know, four hits. Uh, we need to win one of these next two test matches to, to get the Ashes back and uh, we'd love to win the series. So if we can get a win here and then another one, then we win the series as well. So, yeah, it's nice to know that they trust my game and um, hopefully I can go and deliver for them. Something else you mentioned when being brought back into the national squad was the, the, the effect of having your family here with you and having children and how that gave you a better perspective on where cricket fit in. Yeah, it does, yeah, absolutely. I've had, I've got a three and a half year old now and an 11 week old, so it puts uh, a perspective on life. Uh, they don't mind too much what goes on the cricket field. Um, Julia's at home running around after two children, so they don't get much sympathy if you miss out on the cricket ground. But yeah, moving back to Tassie has given me a greater appreciation for playing cricket. I probably took it for granted for a little period of time and got in the daily grind of international cricket especially mm. and probably um, wasn't enjoying my cricket anywhere near as much as what I am now. So that's a reminder for me every game that I play is just to walk out and enjoy it. What's it like being on an Ashes tour having such a young baby? Yeah, it was difficult. I left for the Australia A Tour about four days after we had little Goldie. So Julie uh, um, put me on the plane and told me to come over and have a shot at it. I didn't think I'd probably be in the Ashes squad, let alone playing. So uh, all credit has to go for it. Great story, Matthew. Thanks very much for joining Crick Buzz Centre Stage and good luck through the week. Thanks very much.